Hey everybody, this is Mark with uh, Mini Urban Homestead. Um, I have a little video for you guys today. I'm going uh, to be processing out some rabbits. Rabbits are a wonderful, delicious thing to have on the homestead. Uh, great for sustainability. Um, so check out this video and if you like it, go ahead, like and subscribe. I plan on doing a few more of these things depending on how much you guys like it. There we go. Nice rabbit here, beautiful. I'm making an incision into the fur. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to take this off like a jacket because we don't wanna get any of this fur, this lovely fur on the meat because it's pretty difficult to get off the uh, membrane section. So I'm gonna pull both ways, one for the front, one for the rear. You just pull it apart yeah. like a jacket I'm moving a jacket there we go cut this section yeah just like that side there we go <clears throat> part of the leg here and I'm gonna look for the joint Just right there got a little fur on the knife here and I'll take this like that Continue to pull right out here. And cut this right there. Alrighty. And pull this most of this stuff off right here. Feed the arm to the cavity. Some of these guys a little tougher than the other ones. Like a jacket. Taking off a jacket. Oh no. And um basically what I'm doing here is I'm uh taking off the um Taking out the arms, um, finding the cavity and, and pulling it off, and like I was saying before, uh, treat it like it's a like a sweater. We're taking off, for lack of a better or jacket actually is what I believe I said. Um, so basically, what I found um, is it's a lot easier with a younger rabbit. For whatever reason, I think things are a little tougher um, when they get older. I do try to do it around um, six or seven months. I try to dispatch and process. Um, but if anybody knows anything about homesteading, sometimes you you fall behind on some things um, due to uh, life. I do have uh, one suggestion I would definitely like to add. And that is, I like to go ahead and, and really douse my rabbits with water. And uh, that's why you can see that my rabbits look a little bit wet. And that's so that I don't have a lot of hair and debris um, sticking to the uh, that mucousy um, kind of like membrane uh, on the skin. So... Rabbit meat is um, something we chose to go with because it's delicious. I grew up on it. Um, I had some great memories, and as an adult, it's pretty darn delicious. We use it in many things. 
We even uh, add some barbecue sauce on some Hawaiian rolls. You can roast it. it it's it's endless, really. We even use the uh, the broth uh, to make other things. Uh, that's how delicious uh, it is. So basically, I um, like to keep my surfaces very clean, um, not have too much debris. Um, so that's what I'm doing at this point. And I'm getting ready to uh, make my incision uh, into the uh, abdominal area. So you're going to want to separate the skin uh, from the rest of the body. So you make sure not to uh, cut into the intestines or you don't want a disaster where you're smelling and, and, and things and juices that you don't want contaminating your meat in your meat. Um, not that they couldn't get washed away or anything, but you just don't want to deal with it. Uh, so it's just not good for them. So there is an area in the pelvic uh, situation where it's clearly like the um, anus and everything else. You want to make sure to get into, there's a bone cavity, I don't know if that's the correct word for it, but that you want to make sure you open up so that you make sure everything is cleaned out uh, from inside. Um, you also, that's a liver. You always want to look at the liver and make sure you don't have any spots, strange spots, um, or it doesn't look right. Uh, you don't want to eat it at that point. You want to make sure it has a beautiful look to it. Um, and that way, you know, it's good for you. The rabbit lived a pretty healthy life. Um, and here I am pulling the, uh, lungs and heart. Um, these guys had some little hearts. Um, and so another thing worth mentioning is with, when you deal with the, uh, rabbit is you want to make sure you take off, uh, all the fat. Fat is not a positive, uh, flavor when it comes to rabbit. So just make sure and clean that out as well. And, um, that's that cavity I was mentioning before that you want to go ahead and just make sure you open up and uh, pull uh, everything off. So it's in the pelvis area, pelvic area. It's a tiny cartilage type bone. There I am slicing the center and being able to go ahead and just uh, clean everything out at that point. I like to go ahead, just make sure everything's cleaned out. Always give it that last hand uh, Make sure lung material, all that stuff's out of there. You definitely don't want to eat that. Make sure everything is nice and clean. And of course, what I like to do, um, I like to put these guys on ice for uh, three days, kind of like an ice water and a cooler type situation. And the reason behind that is it uh, goes ahead and it um, gives the meat a more tender uh, texture to it um, because remember there is no bloodletting uh, when you uh, dispatch a rabbit so all the blood stays in the flesh when put on ice um, all of that gets drawn out of the rabbit so of course you get a more tender meat one thing worth mentioning is that uh, actually we like to breed our own we like to mix the uh, Rex um, with a Flemish giant I know that they say the Flemish giant doesn't carry um, more meat per se, um, but it's just something we like doing. These rabbits are super well behaved. They're not like the, uh, the kind that like to bite or anything. Super easy going. 
So something worth considering on your homestead for sure. That's why our 11 year old, she's the one who actually raises the rabbits. And of course we check up on her. Super great to teach kids responsibility. So very docile, very easygoing, simple. So as far as breed is concerned, you should do your research and, and really see what you'd like to get into. Um, we initially started with just the Rex and uh, found out that actually you should not inbreed. We had a brother and a sister. And the reason for not inbreeding is like what happened to us in this litter. It was an oops litter. And basically they turned out smaller than anticipated and sometimes they're born with defects so you definitely want to stay out of that uh, loop as far as that's concerned for obvious reasons okay everyone hope you guys like that video please remember to hit like and subscribe i um, gonna make plenty more videos showing you our little journey uh, we hope you join us thank you